Hello and welcome to another RPA tutorial video. This is the detailed explanation video of our previous video where we have shown you how Automation 360 bot is working with the SAP. So basically there I have just demonstrated like how the bot is taking the input from the Excel and going to the SAP and it is extracting some information and again it is updating into the Excel. So we will see end-to-end -end development here in this video and i will explain you all the commands or action which i am going to use in this video all right so now let's move on so let's see the process flow and understand what we are going to do the bot will first go to the designated inbox of the mail and it will look for an input file if the input file is not available then bot will retry again after 30 minutes once the file is available bot will save into the shared drive and after that bot will start login to the sap so in case if the file is not available then there is no use of going forward so the first condition will be if the file is available then only bot will log into the SAP and put, and it will start processing the uh, information inside SAP. So here bot will open a transaction code called ME2N and there bot will put the purchase order number and it will start extracting the information from the SAP and write into the input Excel file. So once it will complete with all the informations or the purchase order which is available in the excel then bot will send that email to or it will reply to the particular email from where it received the input file so this is the small um, process only so their bot is going to perform these things now let's understand in order to achieve this task what we need to perform in task level so we need to create some task where we need to perform these are the actions which I have listed down. So there will be a one main task or I can say the master task which will call other sub task. Okay, so these are the action which we need to perform. So first we will have a configuration file. So in the configuration file we will have some information. So bot will read that and it will store into a variable. And once this is done then bot will create a folder structure. Once the folder structure part will be done, then bot will check the email and it will download the file if it is available. Once this is done, then bot will go to the SAP section and it will log into the SAP. Then it will start processing the data into the SAP. Once this data processing is done, then bot will send or reply to the particular email along with the updated Excel file. And at the end, it will close all the applications and it will log out from the SAP. So these are the tasks which is going to required for this development. So we will start with the read configuration file first, followed by other tasks. So this is the configuration file which I'm going to use for this development. Let's see how we can read this XML file using Automation 360. So let me go to Automation 360 now. So I have created a separate folder and inside the separate folder, we will create all the tasks. So there will be subtask and main. Now let me open this main task and let's start. Now let's use the step. So there is an option called step in automation 360 so basically this will help you on keeping your code step wise so basically here you can keep your code based on the action which you are going to perform so for first part we are going to read the configuration file so i will keep all the action related to configuration file in this step itself so let me go to the xml and we will start with the first action which we need to use it start session 
so in this start session option we need to select the configuration file so i'm just going with the desktop file option and i will just copy the path of this configuration file and i will keep it once this is done then we need to use this get single node option and by using this we will read the information from the xml and we will assign into a variable so first information which i want is this main path so now let's see so we need to put the path as it is available config then folder and then the main path okay, now we'll keep this into a variable so i'm just keeping a variable called str main path and let's keep this as output in case if needed in other task we will use this value there also then this error logs so instead of main path i will just update this as error log str this also i will keep as output now we'll read the sap url so this will be under config application and then sap now let's run and see whether we are getting any error or not okay it runs successfully that means there is no issue okay so bot is able to read the configuration file now as per our task detail we need to now create a folder structure so when we do the real time development we need to create a folder structure to keep our data or keep logs or keep output files or keep any other um data which is required data or file which we may require right so we will create here so now i'm just going again into the main task and i will create this config file here itself because this is again a very small uh, action which i need to perform so i'm not creating separate task so when we do a big project or a complex level project it's recommended to split your task as much as you can do so it will be very easy to maintain in case if you find any error or in case if you want to make any changes in your code in future so it will be very helpful okay so the first thing is we need to check so whether the folder is available or not right if it is not available then only a bot will create so i'm just deleting this okay so inside this youtube tutorial we need to check and create the folder and the folder value or path is available in this main path so now let's see so let's go with the if condition if the folder is available then no need to perform anything so i will just keep if here and here let's type a folder folder does not exist okay and the folder path we are keeping into str main path so i will just type str main path okay
so this if conditions we need to what we need to put here so if the folder is not available then only i want my bot to create so i have just kept a condition if it does not exist then it should create if it is available then my bot will not do anything and again we will put another if str main path and here we will create an input folder so basically this folder is, is required to save the input file which we are going to read from the email so let me copy this variable and this path i'm just using this okay if it is not available then my bot will create now another folder is required i'm just copying this so str error log path if it is not available then the bot will create this error logs okay now so currently we do not have any folder available here now let's run and test whether this is working or not okay it runs successfully now let me go to the folder and see so we can see this sap automation folder got created along with this input folder and the error logs got created so based on your requirement we can create the folder now as the folder is available if i rerun this it will not do anything so it will just read the configuration file and it will not perform any folder related action because the folder is already available so once the folder will be not available this condition will perform that action so we have till now we have completed two two uh, task or two actions i can say the read configuration file and the create folder structure so now let's see the other uh, steps which we need to perform the next step is check and download input file this is my outlook where i have received the uh, input file which i am opening here so in this file we can see the information is available is the po number and the other field which we need to extract so based on this po number bot will extract information from the sap so now let's try to create a task that will go to the outlook and it will save this input file so i am just trying to show you uh, a separate task where we can understand how we can pass the variable from one task to another task and how we can call the same task using master bot okay although this task will be very small only but to give you some more information how we can uh, map any task into master box i'm creating it so i'm just opening in next tab and here i'm creating a new task email data download okay so we have the email package available inside automation 360 with the help of email package we can perform this many actions so for this specific task we are going to use very limited uh, action here so first we need to connect automation 360 with our outlook so we have three options available here outlook email server and ews server so for our case we are using the outlook hence we have to select this outlook you can see in my outlook i have multiple mailbox available here okay so once you do the refresh here so this automation 360 bot will automatically fetch your mailbox which is available here so it will take a few minutes time to load the data so you can see here we have all the mailbox which is mapped to this particular outlook is available now 
So select whatever mailbox you want to use. I'm just using this rp dot developers work at gmail dot com. So basically, this is my Gmail account which I have mapped with this Outlook. Now, once this is done, and you have to give the session name. So let's go with the default uh, session name which is available here as email session. Once this is done, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a loop. So here, this input file which we have received via mail can be available anywhere in the mailbox, right? So what I can do. I will put a loop to look for that particular file. So I will select a loop, and inside your loop, you can search for email. So here we have to select the for each mail in mailbox option. And here, make sure your session name is same what you are using at the time of creating the connection. And we have the multiple options available to get the email. So let's go with the all. And here again, we have the options. This this is optional field only. So in case if you have any subfolder which is available under your inbox, so you have to just put a slash and put that subfolder name. So bot will directly go there and look for the particular email. Now, here we have other options like when subject contains or from a specific sender. So this will help you on getting your email. So when your loop will start. If you put a conditions, it will directly look for the information which we are going to put here. So now let's see how this works. So I can see here the subject line is mentioned as purchase order detail. So I'm just putting a condition when subject contain this, then my bot should perform a save attachment action, right? Because I want to save the attachment. So here, rest of the things are optional. Okay, so no need to assign anything into the variable. Yeah, but if you want to put any condition other than this, in that case, you have to assign your output into a variable, and based on the output value which will store into a variable or a dictionary variable, you can perform the action. For our case, the variable is not required. I'm not creating anything. All right. So now let me again go back to the email, and here we have to look for option called save attachments. So I put here inside my loop. So once this condition will match, then bot will save the output. So if you remember, at the time of creating the folder structure, we have created a folder. This and inside this, we have created a folder called input folder, right? And there we need to save our data or input file. So I'm just creating a variable here. Let's put a name as str input folder, and I'm just selecting variable type as input. Why I'm selecting here as input because the value which we are going to pass to this task is coming from a config file, and our master bot is reading the config file. So at the time of calling that task, we will map that value. So once in first email will be connect then it will loop through all the emails and it will look for the specific subject once it match then it will save the attachment now once the attachment is found my work will be done so i will just break the loop so after that the loop is not required once this is done again i will disconnect the email session So this is the task which will give us that input file. So now let's run and test it. So once we run, it will ask for the value. So I'm just keeping this input folder where we need to save the output. It runs successfully. Now let's see. Okay. So we can see here the file has been downloaded, and it is available here. So let's close this. So this part is done. Now what we have to do, we have to call this task with the master task. So I'm just putting a task here. Okay, so in order to call any task, we have x package called 
task what so by using that we can run so i'm just going to select this run once you select the run it will ask you to select the file so for our case the file is available in control room so i will just click and choose and i will look for the file so here we have all the folders available so our file is available under this youtube tutorial sap automation this email data download i will just choose it okay once you choose you will see the option of input values okay so when you select any variable as input as the parameter then it will ask you to map it so for our case we have selected this str input folder so we have to map this so now if you go to the create folder so there you can see so this is the folder uh, this is the variable where our input folder where value will be there so i will just simply copy that and paste it here okay now i don't have any output uh, variable here so it will not come now let me save this so this is also done so this part of downloading data from email is completed now let's go to our list of task the next is we have to create a task for login to sap application let's start with sap login task creation so in order to open sap we will use open application action and here we need to put the sap path so basically this is the path uh, this is a login pad which is available in my desktop and we need to open then bot need to click here on the login button and it will put the username and password so let's do this this is also a small task on the and the path we have already uh, kept in config file so let's take it from here to create this task so i'm creating a variable called str sap login path and we will select this variable type as input okay so this will launch our sap and once it is open then we need to click on login button so let me open manually to complete rest of the steps so i will use capture here so in order to work with sap in automation 360 we have multiple options we have the separate action or packages available to work with the sap i have already created a video on this so if you want to see that video you can go to description section of this video and the link will be there so without using sap package the sap can be automated using the capture and the recorder which is available in sap so for this tutorial we will use the capture and the recorder action to perform the sap related action so i'm just going with the capture Okay, once this will click, this page will open, and here we need to put the user ID and password. Instead of putting the delay, we will go with the wait command. So let's type here wait, and inside wait, wait for window. So let's put this, and here we can select this wait for window to open, and let's select that window name. So once this action will happen then bot will wait for this sap login to open so the default time is 5 seconds let's put 30 seconds the advantage of using this action is here if the window is launch or open in one second so it will automatically move to the next step okay so this is also done so once this is done bot will open this page and this page will open within a second so no need to keep this wait for 
command if you want we can keep it so now once this is done we will write down the username and the password So now let's uh, run this and see whether it is working fine or not. Alright, so this is working fine now. Now, the next step is as this task is created now, so we need to map this with the master board. So before adding this task into our main task, let's put some log and exception handling so it will be uh, required when we run the bot so it will help when if any error comes and log will also give us more information how the bot is running so let's first put exception handling so we will put exception handling in this task as well as our email download task so let's start with this one i'm using try and catch block so let's put everything inside try and here we need to assign a variable so you can see here once you click here so it will give you option to create variable so let me create this so error message and the error line number so let's i'm just keeping this error line number variable type as output so we can check with our main task so in case if any error comes to this task i want to stop my main task so now let's see okay so here in case if any error comes i want to log the error so in order to log we have a separate action called log to file so that we need to just drag it here and here we have to put the paths so this is the path where our log will be stored so let me create a variable here and we will map this variable with main task Okay, let's put a slash and put a file name. So I'm just putting error log dot txt and we can put our information here. So I'm just putting a paint time stamp so it will track the timestamp also. So here just put like error detail and we'll put that variable error message and we'll keep that error line number as well as it is a number variable do we need to convert into string okay so this is done now in case if any error comes then only this will come now let's put some log also so i'm just starting here and just using this instead of error log let's go with log okay and here we will put information something like task started and you can put a task name let's say sap login task and here i'm just keeping another log logged into sap i'm just putting here task end it so when we see the log we will understand where the task started and ended okay so this is done now let's call this task from our main task so i am here with master task
so here i have created this error line number variable and selected the variable type as output parameter as output so here we will check in case if any error comes to this task i want my main task to stop because if the bot is not able to log into sap so there is no use of move, moving forward because rest of the action will perform in sap itself so we'll put a condition which we'll check so i'm just going with the if condition and here we will check with the number condition and we'll select the variable error line line number not equals to zero if this is not zero then it means there is a error right so i want my bot to stop and it will automatically log the information into the error log all right so now this is completely done now we'll put exception handling and log there in our email download task so let me go there so before that we'll copy some of the information from sap login task as well Okay, so we have implemented the exception handling and log here as well. Let me save this task and we will once again open this task and do a refresh. So here you can see now it is asking for a log path. So let's copy this log path from this task and put it here. And again, here we have one variable error line number which we have selected as output. Now we need to keep this if so if something happen in this task i want my bot to stop so if any error comes in this task it will not call this task if this pass then bot will automatically call this right now this part is completed and now at the end we will add log and exception handling in our main task as well so if i go to our list of tasks so we have done till sap login application now we will start with process data process pure task data we will create within our main task only so now let's start with this part so first i'm going to keep a condition to verify whether the input file is available or not if the file is available then only i want my bot to perform the action so let's keep a condition Here in this step, we are opening the Excel, then we are assigning the data into the data table, and then we are looping through the data table. So till this part done, now let's start with next part, which is once the data is available, then my bot should put the purchase order number here and it will execute. Okay, so now let's do it. So if I go to my Excel, so my data is available in this column, PO number. So let's see that first. So we need to select the SAP window name. 
the window name is purchasing document i have just selected this now let's capture this area where we need to write down the purchase order number here we will go ahead and we'll keep set text and here we will select a variable record type variable and with index so the po number will be available in column a by index it should be a zero so it will now write down the PO number within this box and now let's see here if you want to make any changes in the property so let's go with as it is object ID will not change here so I'm good with this property okay after writing this I want my bot to click on execute so let's use this capture once again okay once this is done let's click on okay once so let's do this thing side by side manually so we can move on with the next step okay once this is done what we have to do we have to click here so it will open another page and from this page bot will go to different tabs and it will read the information so let's try to do that so i'm coming back create a um, step which will click here now the window name is same only so we'll use this capture once this is done so bot will open this page now so in order to open this page this might take some time so let's put a wait command so it will wait for the page to load right so i'm just going to put a wait for window because window name is getting changed here this is the window name here we can see we have the purchase order number so let's remove that and put a asterisk symbol so it will work automatically whenever the purchase order number will change and let's put a conditions like wait for 30 seconds okay once this is done the bot will land to this page and now here in this page we will read the data this data and we'll write here so before that we need to create a variable to store the data because we are reading data from the sap and we need to store it into some variable and so we can keep it here so let's go to the variable Okay, so we have done with the variable creation now so once bot will come here first bot needs to click here in the material data okay once this is done then bot will start fetching data from this page and this will after that it will go to the next tab which is available here so let's create a command that will click there so everything will happen inside this loop on the because bot has to come every time and click here or there wherever is required so let's do that
so here let's select this tab number okay because if you see this tab position is uh, already defined in sap so for this the tab id is 3 we'll go with this and because this object id will change okay so it, this might change so we'll not select this one but yes when you do your development you have to perform some research in case if you find object id or any of the property which you are using is uh, getting changed so maybe you can manipulate that and you can um, keep it inside your code so for my case i'm just going with the tab id which will automatically work okay once this is done now bot will first read the data like the vendor name this is our vendor name and the dog date and from here it will read the material group material number this four field from here along with this item description so item description is this one so now let's see how we can read this so uh, one suggestion or like you know the best practice which you guys can follow whenever you are keeping this record or capture make sure you are putting proper comments so you can understand like you know what action you have performed so for my case i'm not putting it otherwise this video will be very long so i'm just trying to not to keep a comment otherwise it will go for a long so vendor name is coming under this property text so what we will do we will just select from here text and we will store this into a variable vendor name so similarly we will read all the information and we'll store it store into a variable <coughs> So we have done with this page or this tab now let's read data from the next tab so the next field is invoice code so this will be available here so here we can get the invoice code and the gl account so these two field which we need to read from this now let's once bot will done with this section it will click here so let's first keep a code to perform click on invoice So we have done with this invoice tab now next information is this many data which we need to read it so now this will be available under this account assignment okay so bot now will click here and will read the information from this page
So just one thing just I have noticed, like we are capturing only this tax code from this page and we have mapped wrongly with this uh, this uh, code section. Now let me rectify this. So invoice code, we need to remove the data. This code is not required. So we are getting this invoice code here and now we'll read it from this account assignment. Okay, so we have done with this part. Now, once this part is done, then bot has to come back. So now let's do that also. So it can pick next data. So this click will take bot to the previous page. And here also we need to perform one more click. So let's do that also. So this window name is different now, purchase order. So we have to select that. All right, so we have done with the SAP part and everything will happen inside the loop on the. Okay, so first, Bot will pick the data from the Excel and it will wheel into the SAP and it will read data and it will store into the variable which we have created and captured. So once this is done, bot needs to write here also. So let's do that part also. So I'm just going to create a counter variable and we will use that to fill the data based on this PO number. And we'll increase this with one. So let's select this num counter here and we'll assign back to num counter. The next is we need to write data into this Excel. So we we'll use the set cell. So our first cell will be cell B and this will be C because cell A contain purchase order number. So now let's map with other cells.
okay so we have done with this excel set cell part also we have covered all the cell where we need to set the data so now the next thing is we need to save and close the excel so let me minimize the loop and this part we will do it outside the loop otherwise it will do every time Now let's run this code and test it and after that once it will run successfully then we will put a log and exception handling in this task and we'll see in case if something or anything else is missing that will also complete. So if I come here so we need to complete this send email notification and log out and close application. So before that we need to test it. So I'm closing everything. And we will run it from the beginning to see whether everything is running fine or not. Okay, I have closed all the application now. So I'm also deleting this file so bot can download from the email. Okay, so there may be an error because bot is expecting a page with transaction code Amy 2 n So basically this page. Now let's see what happened to our login task. So I'm going into my login task to see whether I have kept that part or not. If not, then we will add it. Okay, the file has been downloaded so here this is the login part so it is just performing the same thing this is keeping the username and the password now let's add a step which will write down this transaction code here so when our bot will start once the login is done then bot will land to the initial page which bot is expecting so let's use from here Alright, so we have added this one. Now, let's close everything and let's rerun this. Okay, so now, bot got fail here. Now, let's see what happened. So, if you come here, line number 49 now let's come to the line number 49 the error was when bot was trying to write down the information from the sap okay it got failed because the counter value which we have kept default was zero so let me open that variable but as we have select as we have the header available in the excel so it should write from here and we are incrementing our counter in the beginning so now here I have just given the value default value as one. So one is basically a header. Now when bot will come to the loop, it will do a one plus. Okay, so it will be two and it will start writing from this part. 
So this was the one error. So when you build your bot and when you run it, so you might get this type of error and you can fix that before moving on. So we have done with that part now. I'm just going to keep a active sale activate window so we can see how the Excel part is happening because if you not keep that you won't be able to see anything because bot will write information into Excel in the backend itself. So let's keep that to understand how it is happening. Okay, before moving on, so let's put everything here, the log and everything. So we can run at the end final and we can now see whether any other error is coming or not. So let's start with that also. So we have done with most of the part. So I'm just trying to get this log to file information. So let me copy from here and let's put it here. The bot will pick record and store into this variable. So let's keep this so we can have a track. Okay. So similarly, we can put some other informations. Okay. I'm not keeping everything here. So when you do your development, keep all the informations in the log so you can track your bot. So till here we are good. Now let's see what else is left. So first we need to keep exception handling with this task. So I'm just going to put that as well. Okay, now the next thing which we need to do is to send this file. So in order to send a reply, we need to go to the email package and here we need to first create a connection. So I have just selected the mail ID from which I want to perform this action and I have also kept the disconnect. So now we need to go ahead and keep a loop. Okay, so basically the loop will help bot to identify, find that email based on the subject. So let's select here email and we need to put a subject. So I'm just going there in my outlook. So this is the subject. So if this subject is available in the email, so I want my bot to send the reply. So this is not required. Bot will directly fetch that email based on the subject. And let's put reply here. In the reply, select her outlook. No need to fill anything here if you want. It's optional. You can fill it. Now let's put our email details. So put something like hi team SAP PO data process has been completed and the updated file is available in let's say put a location I'm just going to keep this location
following path and put something like thanks rpo bot okay now so once this is done once bot will be able to find the email with the specific subject i want my bot to break the loop otherwise it will keep running and will looking for other file so once the reply is done the bot will move out from the loop okay so this part is also done now we are now left with the last part which is closing the application so we have only one applications available the sap so let's keep a code to log out from the sap itself So when you close any application it's better to keep within if okay so in case if the application is closed by anyhow so your bot will be not fail so i'll put a condition let's put a if window exist so our initial window will be this okay, if this is present then i want my bot to click here in the exit so let's do that and see what next window is coming so that we need to also handle okay so it will come out and after that we need to click on this log off button all right so we have done with all the steps or task which is required for this process now let's run this task from the beginning and see whether it is running fine or it is giving any error i'm closing everything let's close this config file also this is not required okay so it run fine only now let's see the output file so this is the file which bot used and updated the data we can see all the data is updated correctly only so this looks fine now let's go to the email and see whether we have received the output on so we have received the email you can see here this is the old email where bot replied along with the path so that's all from this tutorial i hope this training video is helpful for you to understand how to design or uh, develop a real time project or like uh, what are the things you need to keep in mind while creating end to end process so i have tried to make it very simple so anyone can understand in case if you have any question please you can go ahead go ahead and send a email or you can
put into your comment section one request kindly like this video it will help us or it will motivate us to create more and more tutorials for you people so thank you so much for your time thank you happy learning